Welcome to Cyprus, the 50th different country visited by the European Tour. The Mediterranean island, part of the race to Dubai for the very first time. It is a wonderful destination as the glorious Aphrodite Hills Resort plays host to the Aphrodite Hills Cyprus Open. Prepare to be impressed by this spectacular location and course. Cool customer, isn't he? You see the photo on there with the sunglasses on. He looks like he should be in Terminator. And that was a magnificent bunker shot there. How about that? Big smile. Uh, I like the way him and his caddy roll. I really do. 138 yards playing slightly up the hill. So kind of add a couple of yards to this. A bit really aggressive. You use a little backdrop behind it. Can zip it back towards the flag. How about that? How about that for work between player and caddy? Now those last couple of words from the caddy gave him the confidence to fully mm. commit to the shot. Do you trust the man clapping? Mm. Yes, trust him, Sully. Please trust mm. him, because it's a great <laughs> shot. Can't see it land, you see. So far uphill. Yeah, Andy Sullivan doesn't miss too many of those. I want to tell you over a an entire season and if he does it's probably a footprint or a spike mark excellent putter five under par Jamie Donaldson going nicely this for a birdie at 18 well done six under he can win this week Donaldson he's been trending definitely been trending since he came back from injury Oh, beautifully held by Mitch Waite. Another birdie. Good bounce back. Back to seven under. Back into the lead. This with an attempt to get back to seven under. And does. Nicely hold. Well, if, he's, if he is nervous, Tony, he's not really showing it, is he, out there? No. I don't know if he's got a heartbeat. Relaxed. Great to see a young man with a, with a demeanour like that. It would be nice if he was trying to fade it in, but I'm not sure he's a fader of the ball. He's a good player. Oh. Ooh, Mr. Rowe. Make no mistake, he is a great player, this lad. Wait, and Veerman still leading the way. Men in their 40s in David Drysdale and Jamie Donaldson, a winner this season in the shape of Joel Stolter. They're in that uh, group in a share of third place. Drysdale, terrific second shot, followed by a lovely putt. And here is Valamaki at the tenth. Well, he's taking the golf course apart, isn't he? He's starting to look incredibly good, Valamaki. I know he got a flyer, Tony, second shot, but that's a, a tactical error. Well, there you go. What do I know? That is fantastic. It's I know, good. Rory, I'm with you all day long. I would have been thinking between the flag and the back bunker, I'll have that because you just cannot guarantee how it's going to come out of this, this Bermuda. You just don't know. Yeah, it gets a little heavier. Oh, he's given that a wrap, hasn't he? Steady on. The flag did him a big favour there. I tell you what, that wasn't going to be far away from going off the other side of the green. To the 13th and the second shot into this par four for Jamie Donaldson. Beauty.
JD, Jamie Donaldson, knocks one in. Gets to 12 under par, takes the lead, sneaks ahead. Marcus Armitage, who's a happy-go-lucky sort of a guy. Takes the rough with the smooth. And here he is, tied for the lead alongside the Welsh Ryder Cup star, Jamie Donaldson. So just 1-3-1, one, one. you see on the sign there, it normally plays at 1-6-8 this hole. So the tee considerably forward, nothing more than the wedge. Bring it off the back oh. slope. Hit it. And well, it's almost a gimme, this one today. A gimme birdie too, Tony. it up and down that's always a good sign oh stunning stunning shot can he finish with an eagle yes well done what a finish there over the lake brave as you like and it was a rock and roll day for him there was a real mixed bag in there it all adds up to 68 He's had a few sneak by and that's right in the heart for David Drysdale. He will not make a better up and down this week than that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a birdie. 217 yards, plays 18 downhill. It's so 199, but into a strong breeze off the right. No easy pin to get close to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's fearless. I don't know if he intended going at that. He did. But Wait, let's have a look at his face. He did. Some way up. From left to the 18th green. Carrying it all the way up there. And there were other ways to play that shot. Could have got that on the ground much quicker, but you'd have to say he's played it well. Right behind him at the moment. Skip it. It's listening, Jamie, it's listening. That's one of the best we've seen, if not the best so far. And he does get it. As we said, it hasn't been the best day on the greens for the Welshman, but that's right in the middle. Donaldson to 14 under. It's a third round, 69. It's Donaldson out front though, the Ryder Cup man promises to be an absolutely fascinating Sunday. Soft sand iron in hand for JD. Good. Good. Hit it in. Oh! oh. 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 oh you're right. Oh. 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 Nice response to that bogey. Callum Schenkwin for a birdie, nicely done. The enormously powerful Callum Schenkwin. Yeah, he doesn't really need to do the Bryson thing, does he? Because no. he's just naturally built. He's already five under on the day. This one's going to be too... Oh, he's got it. Perfect pace. I thought it was too high and it just dived in, didn't it? Because he had the pace perfectly. It just gets better and better for Sammy Valamaki. He's opened up a two-shot lead now. Somewhere just a little out of position at 11. Having to get it up fairly briskly over the olive tree. Oh, and done it superbly well. Samoya for the birdie to go clear at the top. And he gets it as well. And Kalis Samoya makes his sixth birdie of the day. He jumps over Sammy Valamaki, 19 under. He's another player who said he had a number in mind this weekend. Oh, now, Shinkman, this would be a huge birdie. There you go. Ooh, Rowie, 18 to come with that tough flag with his power. 20 is the target, isn't it? Mm. And he can do it. He's chasing down that first European Tour title. 54 feet. 
It's a great putt. Oh, it's yeah. a great putt. Oh, joking. <laughs> oh, my what God. Is that? Goodness me. <laughs> An eagle three from Callum Shinquin, just as he did yesterday. Look at that birdie eagle finish for a closing 63. That is the low round this week. And he's hit that magic number. He's got to 20 under par, and he has thrown the gauntlet down. Up to 18. Garrick Higo, he's three off the pace, so needs to hold this one to Ty Shinquin. Oh, oh, oh. What a shot! <laughs> and I've never seen this before. Tony Johnson and Mark Rowe almost speechless. Oh, that is bold, that is gutsy, isn't it? From Palace Samoya. He makes the birdie. And we are heading for a playoff here at the Aphrodite Hills Cypress Open. Look at that for a weekend play. 64 64 to get to 20 well under. Done, As he pulled it a little. Oh, that's a good break. That's a good break. Okay. Well, interesting choice of club here. It could be in between clubs for Shinquin. 199 to go. Big six, easy five. Launched into the stratosphere. That's done him a huge favour. If he'd stayed up the back of that bunker, he was it was a lost cause. There's a shot. Just let it release down the hill. Keep going. Well, there's a huge amount of pressure, isn't there? So you don't want to be too critical, but you wouldn't say it was his best. Well, this for the win. Oh, the nerves are jangling. Well, I think that's almost an identical pace part to the first time round. Fantastic pack done. Yeah, it is the birdie for Shinquin. <laughs> Breathe again now. 18 inches closer than the first time. But it's a putty nose. Well, well, well. Having suffered the heartache three years ago in that playoff in Scotland. It is a win for Callum Shinquin, an unfortunate miss there at the last for Samoya. He wins it at the first extra hole after a stunning closing round 63 and that birdie eagle finish. A birdie at the first extra hole, good enough to get it done. Well, the goddess of love, Aphrodite, who this resort was named after us, certainly looked down kindly on Callum Shinquin this week. And he is the 2020 Aphrodite Hills Cyprus Open champion. And he gets his hands <laughs> on that wonderful trophy. Great trophy. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.